So guys, got a little little news for you. We're planning on fishing the Denny Super 30 this year on Minnetonka, but cha definitely changed our mind. The closer and closer I got to the season, the more I just couldn't stand the thought of me not being in that tournament. Today we're out on Tonka. We're gonna do some pre-fishing. We're gonna do some fun fishing too, but we're out here. I'm gonna see if we can figure something out here today. My guess is they're gonna be shallow. The ice has only been off for seven seven days. Water temp's 59, so it's it's pretty standard stuff right now for this part of the country. But I'll see what we can do. There's one. Good luck. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Finally. Mr. Chad. On the chatter bit. Finally put a new finally put a new trailer on it. Sunfish busting out in front of the boat. Threw right into it and you can even see them surfacing still. There must be a few bass in there trying to eat sunfish, I'm guessing. I always like that. Transponder. Extremely hot chicks. There's one. Another bite, isn't it? Yep. Oh, there you go. Might have, might have finally found the deal. Sure, a little bit. Then we'll go down there for a while, and when we get done, we'll go over there and hit the inside and see if we catch anything. Next cast, and I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> inside weed line. It's a little nicer one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. This is the three pounders we're looking for. Ooh, nice fat one. Got the fin all beat up. Yeah. This, look at his back. Tail's a little red. A little bit, not much. When he's been digging. A little bit. You going back up shallow? Right back to the dock. Right back to the dock. So I'm thinking, let's idle up to the good spot. And try the inside there? Inside there, and then after that we'll go on the other side of the Arcola, right before you go into that next no wake zone, there's that flat right there. That's really good. Weeds. 
it just keep biting so softly even I just I'm skittish every time what not to do but good oh you just oh got him unbelievable what's going on Man, There's one there, I don't know. One you just caught. I don't know how I could screw this up anymore. Well, there's just bass everywhere in here. I see five, six, all the same size. Test the hook. Put it on your fingernail. Scratches it. Good. Watch him eat it. Right next to the boat. He doesn't bump back or anything. I have one right there. He's a little bigger. I'll go get him. There. Yeah, I had two of those on right before this. This one's three pounds. Just over here screwing up, don't worry. They are everywhere. Tuck it. Tuck the bait. Oof, only got one hook on him. Oh, that's quite a ah. hook on the gill plate. Yeah. Swatted at it and missed it. Because the dents in them. They hit shit, I mean. Another, another teeny tiny boy. I want a five pounder. He's barely after 12, we got time. Well, he's got, they've been caught way too many times. We got the dumb one of the bunch there. Coming through. Well, we just got off the water for the day. Not not too bad for the first day out on Tonka. Didn't catch anything big. It's kind of been story of this year so far. I haven't really gotten anything too big. Did the same thing, fished out deep a little bit, fished in shallow a little bit, only getting bites up shallow. Um, the big thing was inside weed lines and then small cuts, bays, uh, shallow water like that. That seemed to be where a lot of fish were. Um, I was getting that getting them to bite wasn't the easy or wasn't the easy part, so uh, we caught most of them on chatterbaits, a little bit of Texas rig. I pretty much do a chatterbait all day. That's looking like it's going to be the go-to here. Again, great bait. Uh, so maybe we'll do some type of a video on exactly what I'm using again. I know I have a old, old, little bit older one where I kind of customized them a little bit, but I'm always changing stuff. So maybe we'll do an updated video on that too. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you guys come back again, like, and subscribe below. We'll see you next time.